who used to be Huntsville's only homeless comic, and now he doesn't even have that anymore. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Joel Elliott. Thank you, sir. It's true. I just, I've lost everything, even my homelessness I lost. I don't know. People keep telling me, get your shit together. Get your shit together, Joel. My shit's together. It's in a pile over there in the bar. I, I don't know how to get it any more together than it already is. Your niece is in the Highlander? Highlander? That movie's older than me. And I'm like the oldest comedian apart from like Tim Benton, who's like two steps away from death. I, that's scary. This is such a nerdy town that your niece would be in the Highlander. I love, I love Huntsville so much for its nerdiness. Um, the, like I can tweet about quantum physics in Huntsville and hashtag Huntsville and, and, and people will be like, ah, I get that joke. It's, I landed in the weirdest place in the South I, and, I, and I love it to death. I love Twitter so much. I spend so much of my time on Twitter. I've had a couple of Twitter victories. Is anybody here on Twitter? Has anybody here heard of Twitter? It's a thing on the internet. Uh, yeah. It's a fun place to be. I, I've had a couple of victories recently, and uh, the, you know, like the, they're hollow victories because it's Twitter. You know, like it's, it's it's fairly meaningless when it comes down to it. But like the other day, like I never, I don't follow Jim Brewer. The, okay, yeah. First of all, you know, I made this mistake the other day. I got all excited about Jim Brewer following me on Twitter, and then I realized all of my stand-up comedian friends are ten years younger than me, and none of them have heard of him. But did Jim Brewer, anybody know Jim Brewer? He was, yeah, he's in the movie Half Baked and, and so many other things. He's one of the top 100 comedians of all time. I know this because it's in his bio. But uh, <laughs> but Jim Brewer follows me on Twitter out of nowhere. Like I didn't favorite anything. I didn't retweet anything. It was just like Jim Brewer's following you, and I was like, well, why is that? So, you know, I got I got super crazy excited, and then and then I was just sitting there at my desk like five minutes later, and I was like, yeah, he's still following me. And, Okay, nothing has changed, you know, like everything is still what it was before. It's like they're hollow victories. I, I guess according to the principles of nihilism, you know, like everything in life is equally as meaningless as everything else in life. And so when you find meaning in things, uh, it's as meaningful as anything else you could find meaning in. So like technically I am as happy as like a mother delivering her firstborn child because Jim Brewer followed me according to nihilistic uh, philosophy. But, uh, but you know, I realize, I realize it's empty, you know. But then this morning, I had another Twitter victory. I, was, I saw Ralphie May tweet something. Ralphie May, you guys have heard of him? He's a big comedian. He's a little brash. He's really not my flavor, actually. But I, I see him tweet. I see him tweet out this morning. Uh, he says, uh, to all the haters out there, you can suck my big, fat, millionaire dick. And I'm like, yeah, that's cute. And so I reply to him because... I, I've had this joke since I was 19 years old and I started in the entertainment industry. I've had this joke that it's not who you know, it's who you blow. And it's not my joke, it's everybody who's ever been in the entertainment industry. Talent is like 5% and the rest of it is who you're jerking off to get on shows. That's just how, it's how that works, all right? And so I tweet back to Ralphie May about sucking his big fat millionaire dick. And I, I say to Ralphie May, would, uh, would it get me booked on a show? Because I hear that's how that works. <laughs> I thought it was a funny joke, but Ralphie May, he comes back at me, he goes, he goes, no, you have to have wit and humor. You have exhibited neither. With just a hint of cunt, you're a hipster comic. A hint of cunt, Ralphie, my god. And, uh, I had to have a second cup of coffee to handle that one, you know. But I felt like, I was like, oh, well, this is a victory. He took the time out of his day to, like, soundly... You know, beat me into the ground. How how nice of Ralphie May. And it's like I could have, I could I could have started like a Twitter war with him and said something like, you know, oh, far be it for me to stand in the way of a witty millionaire comedian and his dick jokes. You know, but I didn't because I, because I'm a tiny tiny person and I'm scared. Instead, I I like retweeted it and put agreed steps closer to the ledge. Uh, <laughs> So I'm not going to go against Ralphie May. What if he sits on me? What if Ralphie May sits on me? What is going to happen if Ralphie May sits on me? Look at me. It's going to be horrible. I just, I'm not saying, okay, no, I am saying that. <sighs> so there's going to be a show in a week, and, I, and I'm going to be on it. Or will you guys come back here in a week? Would you guys, like, meet me back here in, like, a week? Because it would be great. There are a couple of comedians coming out here from Seattle. Uh, it's the Blanket Fort Tour. I don't know if there's going to be a Blanket Fort or not. I tweeted them. We'll see if they send me a string of profanities later to, 
explain to me whether or not there will be a blanket for it. And uh, if you guys do watch this video, because I'm not going to tweet it at you, I'm a Twitter stalker, I think we've covered that, but if you guys watch this video and you want a blanket for it, I will bring blankets and pillows from the comedy house where I live to the show and we'll set it up on stage for you. So like, tweet at me guys. And, and try to go easy. They've been beating me up on Twitter lately. Okay. So in a week, there's going to be a show. I'm going to open it, and that'll be fun. Tom Hand is going to be here. He's a pleasant guy. <laughs> as, as those of you at the bar are learning, that, that was a lie. Tom Hand's actually kind of a prick, but we love him. And he's also going to be here. He's very funny. So uh, come out and, and see the Seattle comedians, whose names I can't pronounce uh, because I haven't heard them said out loud yet. Uh, but they're going to be very funny. And come out and see me and Tom Hand here at Maggie's. It'll be fun. And give it up for uh, your other comedians tonight. Listen to them and laugh at them and have fun. It'll be great. Uh, Maggie Myers, you have been great. I, on the other hand, have been Joel Elliott.